when we're looking at viewer case performance however on back is that another question away from them when we walk only people you see directly is typically the entry of like nesk and palu but this time palu is on the right end of the gunfight but nesk is not one player that was hyped up yesterday involved in that early action was Hornetau. He gets the first pick for his team before he is removed. Now it's Volps to go down to Hates. A lot of heavy hitters in this lobby for both teams. Palu, another one of them, but his presence will not be known outside of that single kill as he's removed by resets. Advantage in favor of neither team as they both go back to a 2v2. <laughs> Again, he could conceivably blanket one entry the entirety of the rest of the round. Avidil under fire though, and we'll now have to watch that hatch. As there's the drop, and oh, a bit of negligence by Lagonis, who has to break in the printer. And he gets mm. taken out by Gomez. Just too much for Liquid to overcome. Evil Keed Star is rebuffing Liquid's advance as they enter on the top floor and then sealing the deal with good. Hmm. Yeah, that was a very that was a very interesting execute. Oh. <laughs> Oh my, first altercation, down goes Gomez, and we unfortunately have a full screen worth of static. Nessie's just sack that good, like he shoots at default camps and the observer cam, it's incredible. There we and go, another one. Nesk, coming back from the server, he was the Matrix, is now flanking through the main lobby. Not too far off of resets, he might be able to capitalize off of this, and he does, but the jig is up, they know his spot. Lagonis finishing him off. A Type 89 just saws right through people. Really well played by Hornetau. Pick on the Volps. Pulling out the shotgun and waiting for more. Just under a minute left. The next altercation. Coming with Palu and Hornetau. As Hornetau has to make his way through server. Palu. This is just... At this point, it seems like... Maybe delaying the inevitable. Indeed. Desk starts it. Palu ends it. Team Liquid answer back. Both teams tied at one. Very peculiar round. I mean, like as well. Three players from Liquid on that repel with Claymores down on two separate windows. You've been foolish to jump out, but hold on a second. Liquid is bringing the heat to this Vivo Keen Stars roster, and Hornetau picks up three kills from his position, leaving Palu as the only one standing. This is not the spot you want to be in if you're Team Liquid at all. Front office by Banana proving to be too much for Team Liquid to overcome. They thought they had a window into the bomb site. Pardon the pun. By repelling in, but ultimately, it didn't happen. They did not account for the Vivo Keed Stars players that were defending on site. There's a couple tools at your disposal if you want to stop projectiles. Oh, Lenda. That is not a fight you need to take, my friend. Down he goes. Opening pick goes to Liquid. <laughs> that is a bit of an, an ego peak, if you will, getting a bit too comfortable. And uh, I again, like, there's just, um, yeah, and that's really it. Like, they don't lose a whole lot, uh, lot, they don't lose a lot from it, but they're missing a player. <laughs> just too captivated hard. by what's going on on the screen in front of you, hey? Flashbang goes, the ADSs are not there, Volps will go through the fire, and just decide to take the engagement, winning it! They've got now control of server, leaving Gomez and Daffodil as the last two. Team Liquid in an excellent position to seal the deal on this round. Down goes the Azami from above, and it's Gomez in a 1v5. Flawlessly done by Liquid as they answer back. And these teams now sit at two rounds apiece. <laughs> Look at the last two rounds we witnessed. Yeah, so this is a classic open area rush chat where you can deal that flashbang and Amuro goes in, but the issue is he dies immediately. The follow up is there from both teams, but it's Vivo Keed once again coming out on top. Like, Goni's not using his Candelas for the second time on this bomb site. Not ideal. Team Liquid go for broke. The strat doesn't exactly work out. Laguna still alive, still with three candelas in pocket. He'll creep up. They've got control of the bomb site, making the defenders have to work harder. There's kill holes from above that Vivo Keed Stars can use. Gonus will attempt to plant yet again. Falling off of it. Vivo Keed are not taking the bait at the moment. They are standing pat. They want a post plant, it seems like. Down goes resets. Maybe they're just waiting for Lenda to get into the bomb site, and he does so. They know exactly where the Ying is, and it's Hornetau to trade out as he falters. I was gonna say the same thing, yeah. And I don't think it necessarily fits their place either. I like this more calculated approach and just boosting up your soldiers. Great entry, but again, immediately traded back by our Hornetau. So whenever Liquid they get an advantage. It depends on how you track this actual statistic, but I have four of the six rounds being trades for first blood. Obviously, there was the flawless round from Team Liquid. And then all the way back in round number two, the Team Liquid also won. 
Now the trades might work at the onset, but now they're doing even better because teams continue to trade. Hornetow gets one pick. Team Liquid lose both Paulo and Nesk. Not great. Down goes Hates. Down goes Gomez. Vivo Keed Stars now find themselves with three. The good news is that one player that we talked about time and time again, Hornetow, eight and four, still alive. Blend is now on the flank as Team Liquid encroaching on the bomb site. Another kill for Hornetow, who gets pulverized by Volts. Lenda needs to clutch and he can't get it done. Streak lives on! Each team winning three rounds in the first half. Neither. We gotta see if that kind of affects the second half. But no, speak about the man, he shows up. Lenda gets the opening kill. Never mind, he's completely ready for this. There's no follow-up whatsoever from Team Liquid, so... Vivo Keed Stars walk in, they get the first pick. They don't risk anything past that, so there is an advantage here. As talked about in the previous round, how these teams have been trading quite frequently. Hornetown now as well, breaking double digits. Oh no. Oh. That could be the time. There we yep. go. Only a couple shots is all that's needed from Nesk. Lenda goes on to drone. I like this decisive push from them because it's the right call, I think, in my opinion. Walking right in, Candela's being thrown asunder. Gomez down, Hornet Town down as well. Three kills in a row from Team Liquid. Because I honestly think they've played very well given the situation they're in. They lose Hates, who's had a very disappointing matchup so far. Two and seven in roles where you should not be going negative at all. But hey, yeah, they have. they're gonna go for broke. Marching up the top stairs and they win the gunfights. Both gunfights, in fact. They come ahead in terms of numbers, but Liquid still got some fight in them. Palu, the last one standing in a 1v2. What? But he dies to an angle he's not even looking at. We're tied up yet again. <laughs> How does that, that's, that's supposed to happen at all? I mean, that looked like such a done deal. For, of course, the keeper barriers from this here is going to massively assist him, but there goes the flash ping and there goes the nade. Oh my. Oh. Okay. There goes Hornetow as well. The best yeah. player for Vivo Keed is no more later on. EU1D goes off and Vivo Keed get information from it, but they can't capitalize to the level that they want. Unless Lend out on Banana vaulting on in. Top floor seemingly swept through now by Vivo Keed as they have to focus, try and arouse some suspicion from these players on Liquid. Lagonis reads into it perfectly. It's Volts credited with the kill and now Vivo Keed are losing the plot as Hates walks into the site. It gets demolished by Palu. Very well played by Liquid. No real answer from Vivo Keed Stars to basically stall out the majority of that time left in the clock and make it so hard to plan. Oh, and if they get a double a kill early on! <laughs> Lenda guns so down two on do? top of stairs. Losing both Nesk and Palu, actually. My goodness. Barely. Volms manages to get out of his position inside of Red alive. Resets the first pick right now for Team Liquid. Amidst the confusion in the bomb site, Daffodil getting the plant down. Volps last man standing. Rough spot oh, yeah. to be in. Vivo Key now in the post plant waiting as a Candela rolls by as Gomez to seal the deal. We're still looking for two rounds back to back on one half. Vivo Key to win this one. See some of those key barons that are stuck trading room. Nate's going out flash. Actually, it's Nesk, sorry, getting assistance from Volps. Classic style for Liquid here. And it works. Volps is the first one on the board for his oh. team. Oh my goodness. We're not even halfway into the round yet, and half of the server is dead. Daffodil with Diffuser in hand, Lenda backing him up. The last remnants of the Adrenal Surge still going strong. Liquid having the upper hand in numbers, and it goes from bad to worse for Vivo Keith. Lenda outside on Repel will throw in the Candelas and is a last ditch effort. Tried to deal with the player inside of conference. Can't get it done. Continuing to back away, and now Lenda presents himself to Palu. Moves Liquid to match point. It's another one of those Nisk in the front line and play around him to get. I mean, hey, you have opportunities at your disposal. Hates is going to drop. And the smoke of Volps oh. gets the kill. Just walking right into his waiting arms. And now there's another as well as the nade goes by. It goes off. Hornetow dying to the fire, though. Opting to go elsewhere. Fire just lingering. Affidel going in, shrugging off some damage. Palu down. All of a oh. sudden, Vivo Keed hitting their marks. But the Goyo fires back. Resets long range. Pulverizing Gomez. Lenda needs to cover. Does a mighty fine job of it. And there goes the diffuser. Off. Oh. Daffodil's brought down by a Nitro Cell as Nas gets flashed as he vaults on over. It's him versus Lenda, and the engagement will need to come very quickly. Nesk will hop on. Where is Lenda? Nesk already at the halfway mark. Where is Lenda? 
gets baited in and Ness can't win it. We go to overtime as Vivo Keed get it at the final second. That is way too close. Where's the C4 from Nisk? How does Gomis get it? Someone has to make the first move from Evo Key. That nade could have been it, but no, it misses the mark entirely. I'll think of the first pick, though. You said they have to make the first move. Daffodil getting Nesk. Wandering in, dying, and also surrendering the Diffuser. Not a single X Kairos was used, and now it's Team Liquid hitting the scoreboard real hard. Hates and Lenda is the last two left for Vivo Keed. And it's just Lenda. Liquid looking for a victory here, but hold on a second. Lenda might be able to pull this off. Everybody in the lobby so low, but it's the shotgun of Lagonis to seal the deal. Back and forth again, and it's Team Liquid to move to match point again. <laughs> we have a very real chance for this to be in back and forth the entire way through. No team is- Floor. Not the second though. Oh. Nice trade Jumbada as Volps think? and Gomez both die. Lagonas has his teammates back. Now Lenda taking damage, but seemingly not aware of the position of it. Walks right into the waiting arms of Palu. Liquid with the advantage with Jadil wandering up. No, 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 no. This isn't how it ends. Secure by Nesk. They've only got one player left. Team Liquid. Just need to find a single body, but of course it's Hornetail. Looks the wrong way, and that will be all she wrote. It was and forth technically as it was done on different 